Okay. So today we're going to be doing a consultation for a new hairstyle for you, okay? Alright, so today is going to be just a little bit different because we're going to be doing a consultation and an evaluation at the same time. Okay, so the way we will do that is I will be showing you some looks from one of our many books or magazines with lots of different hairstyles and I will be flipping through the pages for you uh, just to give you some ideas for you to make a decision. Alright, and as I do that, your hair will be brushed. Okay, so you can just sort of get some relaxation while, while we look through the pages of the book. Okay, and we'll be using different tools, possibly some products if it's needed. And we'll just get a little bit of an evaluation as we are brushing your hair, okay? So you can just sit back and relax and you're sort of getting a bit of a treatment. And a consultation at the same time, okay? All right, so let me just um, show you some of the tools that we might be using for your hair today. And then I will choose a book to look through with you, okay? All right. Hi, how are you? So I am going to be assisting today. So while Amuse is going over some of the looks that you might uh, be choosing today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of an assessment on your hair. Okay. So while you're having a look through the books and materials with her. I will just be uh, sort of playing with your hair a bit. I do have some different brushes that I will be using today. Just basic brushes and combs. Alright, so I'm going to show each one to you as we go along uh, right before I will use it for your hair. All right. Okay, so let's start with this one here. We have our little shell brush. Okay, so this one is just a beautiful little brush. Very small size. You can see all of the bristles are the same height. It's a very nice quality a brush here. Okay, 
So let's see how you like this one. This is a book um, with both hair care as well as hairstyles. different hair types. So it sort of lets you see, you know, which categories you fall in, and then you're better able to take care of your hair. It talks about shampooing, you see, and conditioning. And it goes over some natural treatments, if that's the kind of thing that you prefer. Okay. Let's see different um, styles for different occasions. Tells you, um, gives you some helpful hints for essentials that you might want to always have with you when you're traveling. Okay, so this one talks about a new style, new you. Okay. It says, um, looking for a new style, fantastic, a fresh cut, Color or a restyle is a great way to revamp your look and boost your confidence. However, it is important that you put some thought into what you want to achieve before you arrive at the salon. Okay, but that's alright because that's why we're having this consultation today, right? And it just gives a little bit of a, a tip down here. Uh, looking, oh sorry, it says when browsing the pictures in this book and in magazines, think about which looks suit your age and stage. A trend can be adopted completely or your hairdresser can incorporate an aspect of a popular look into a style. Maybe a fringe detail, a color, or texture. You also have to think about how much time you're prepared to spend on styling each day and whether you have the capability to maintain an elaborate look yourself. If you play sports or swim, then 
daily washing and restyling will require more time. Being busy or working a lot can also make some looks too high maintenance. Okay. So here we get into choosing a style. Okay, now you can see here gets into first considering what face shape you have. Okay, so there's different shaped faces. We have first the square face, that would be this one right here. This one next to it, this is a round face shape. And here we have an oval oval shaped base. Okay, and then two more on this side. See, these are the heart shaped face and the oblong face. This one right here. This is the heart shaped and this one is the oblong. Okay. Alright, so for you, I would say you have more of uh, the round base. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, and also there are some other things. Uh, you have a prominent nose, you may want to incorporate softness into your style. How about a pointed chin? You may want to style your hair with width at the jawline. Here. Okay. And how about a low forehead? You may want to choose a style with a uh, wispy bangs or some fringe. Okay. For a receding chin, you may want to choose a style that comes just below the chin level. Okay, just below there. And you may want to choose some curls. For an uneven hairline, you may want to add some friend to help sort of conceal the uneven areas of the hairline. Okay. All right. Choosing a hairdresser in a salon is also uh, something that takes a little, little bit of trial and error, we'll say. All right, now here we are with actually cutting the hair, okay? We get into different styles. Okay. All right, so there are a lot of classic cuts. Um, we have, first of all, a one-length bob. It's also known as a page boy. It's a haircut where the, ha the hair all falls to one length, okay, and the length is the same all the way around the head, okay, there's no sort of um, angling or layers or anything like that, okay, um, it usually sits right above the shoulder, right here, but you can have different length bobs, of course. Um, it's a useful way of making fine hair look thicker and more dense. So this one right here, I believe. Yes, this one here is a bob. Now this one has included some bangs, but you can see the length of the hair is all comes down to the same length a little bit of a longer, longer style bob, but there's no layers or anything. 
All right, we also have a long one length cut, which is what you have right now. This is where the hair falls to a point below the shoulders. Um, and it can be changed up with some bangs or fringe. That would be this one down here, the blonde style there. See, that's a long, long style. So now let's try out the blue plastic multi-height bristled brush. This one, as I've said, is great for detangling the hair. and it's in a paddle brush style. Okay. Then we can talk about layers. Layers are where hor horizontal sections of hair are cut to the same length all around the head so that, in effect, the haircut mirrors the head shape. Uh, with the top layers falling to a higher point than the lower layers. This is a good style for thinning out thick hair um, and removing some bulk from the overall look. Okay. All right, so for a layered look, now this doesn't show the back of the hair, but that is this look right here. And this is including bangs. Or you might call it fringe. Okay. Also, another technique is called graduation. And that's a technique that's used to create top layers, which, which are shorter than the underneath layers. Okay. Um, you can create different degrees of the graduation. Or you can also create a reverse graduation where the underneath layers are shorter than the top layers. So that is this last style here in the upper corner there. You can see there's lots of different lengths in the hair. Okay. I will have a lot of different examples in this book. This goes over different cutting techniques, but that's not really for you to worry about. We may also find that you have some cowlicks. Okay, that's a very common thing. Um, it's usually uh, found in the front hairline, and it sort of happens when your hair grows out of the scalp in sort of a swirling direction, or it can go backwards or forwards. It's sort of like your hair always kind of wants to grow in that direction. All right, so there's different uh, tips for sort of covering covering that up if, if that's what you want. Some people have a double crown. Okay. That's when you have two pivots of hair at the top of the head rather than the usual just one. So there's certain ways to disguise that and they normally include adding some height at the front of the hair. Okay. And also a widow's peak, many people have that. Um, Let's see if there's a picture here. You can see this, this picture right here. I'm not sure how prominent that widow's peak is, but you can see the hairline there. It comes to a small point in the front. Some people like to sort of um, try and hide that. Um, So, a 
tip for that is styling your hair in a reverse direction to the growth. Okay, it sort of just disguises it. Now we can also talk about coloring your hair. Do you have any interest in adding some changes to color or just the style? Okay, so if that's something that you're thinking about, we can go over lots of different techniques and uh, different ways for coloring the hair, any sort of chemical treatments like perms or straightening treatments. Okay, now here we are with choosing a style. Okay, that's the part we really want to look at today. All right, so let's see. Um, choosing a new hairstyle, it can be an exciting prospect. Changing the cut, color, or the texture of your hair is an instant way to transform your appearance and can be such a boost to your confidence. It can be overwhelming, however. Okay. So, that's why we're here today. It's always nice to have a consultation and a nice, uh, I would say, a nice amount, a good amount of time to spend on the consulting is very important. Right? So the first section we'll look at here is short hairstyles. Okay, that would be a big, drastic change for you. Is that something that you are considering? Okay, there's lots of different ways uh, to cut uh, your hair in a short look. I would say that a shorter hairstyle is something that requires a little bit more maintenance uh, when it comes to keeping up with trims or styling, unless you're one of those lucky people who just always looks good no matter what they do. Okay, so let's see. Is there any that you see on this page that interest you? I can tell you a bit more about it. Yes. So now let's take a look at the wide tooth comb. This one will be a little different than the others. Okay. You like number seven? Okay, so this is an elfin cut. Okay, it's a timeless classic. It is best suited for striking face shapes. Okay, and that look includes slightly longer layers on the top, and you can wear them smooth or textured. Okay, so you get a little bit of a, um, you know, you can sort of play around with the style on a daily basis because there is some length to that. You can see. Okay. So we'll keep that one in mind. More on this page here. You see. Anything you like here? Possibly you like 13 
and 12. So 12, this look has, um, it's styled with the hair brushed forward. Alright, it's a very stylish look. And it also shows off the jagged perimeter of the cut. Frames the face. And this is good if you have a good head shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one requires uh, some product. You'll want to have to use some hairspray, something like that, to keep it in, in the style there. Okay, you can see. Okay, so there will be sort of a lot of maintenance. And then 13, um, okay, so this is also a look that requires some styling. Okay, that's this one here. So you'll have to likely blow dry to get that look. Okay, see it's nice and smooth. Um, you'll want to blow dry in sections using a barrel brush. Okay, so it does. Um, so that one is, um, you know, you can see your, it really brings your eye to the, the smoothness of the hair. And here's a few more. Any that you like on this page here? Okay. Yeah, you can see how much goes into these shorter styles. You know, you have to sort of cut them just right and make sure you style them get the look that you want to achieve. But they are very, very uh, nice looking when you really take care and take the time. How about here? In here? Nice little styles here. one here. Okay, so this one, uh, this is sort of more of a glamorous and groomed, finished and polished cut. Okay, so you, um, in this look, they're pushing the, the short sides, um, back. Okay, you can see on the sides there, they've styled the sides back and then give some height to the top there. Okay, very polished look. of different styles still. 
that you can go for. Okay, these ones uh, don't require as much maintenance when it comes to um, going to the salon and keeping up with the cuts. It's a little bit easier to sort of disguise when the hair grows in and kind of grows out of the original cuts. So any hair that you want to consider. Okay, this one here you like. And this one. Okay. So the first one that you liked, um, this talks about applying an iron. And you can see how straight and smooth they've styled the hair here. Alright, so it brings um, brings out the cut so you can really see uh, the detail in the cut in this type of styling. It emphasizes the smoothness of the fringe and you might want to use products like a finishing cream something to add a bit of shine okay and the other look um, this is has a, a part that's a very deep part to one side um, it makes that longer front section fall across the eye and it's makes it a little bit more of a playful look. Okay, you can see one side is sort of tucked back behind the ear and then you get this nice sort of um, sort of romantic look with the hair falling over the side of the face. Okay. Bristles are very soft and gentle. So let's see how you like it. Let's see. There's some more mid length styles. Okay. We can always come back. This one here, you can see it really um, does get the effect of being a longer cut. But this is considered a uh, mid-length style here. It's all in the styling. Okay, so this one is considered to be a high-impact sort of party look. Okay, for this style they've used a straightening iron. It's very, very smooth and straight. Um, it does have some layers, so it shows off the cuts and the layering. Okay, so if you were going to wear that look somewhere, you'd want to make sure you've got the, you know, the layering in the front there, uh, sort of uh, trimmed nicely. more looks. Anything you see here? These here have uh, been styled. Okay, some of them are more simple. you can see with these um, longer st 
styles, you have a lot more options. You can do some up looks. So you want to consider that if you're someone who likes to wear their hair in these ups, updo uh, styles. You may want to not choose one of the shorter styles. Okay. So a mid-length cut may be better suited for you if you're looking for a little bit more flexibility when it comes to styling. Okay. Have sort of a longer length, but play around with different layers and bangs. Give me some curls to add a different look. one here, yes. Um, it's a dramatically layered cut. And this look adds a lot of texture to your style. Um, it's really good for fine hair. Okay, and it does, uh, with all of the layering, the layers sort of draw attention to certain areas of the face, if that's what you're looking to do. Let's see that. Okay. Alright, so now we've got the longer styles. Okay, so now you do already have a long style. We can change it up if you're looking to just not have so much of a drastic change to your look. So long styles, obviously, um, you have a lot more choice when it comes to changing up your day-to-day -day look. In my opinion, it does not require as much maintenance, only because it's sort of easier to disguise uh, little, little things that may have sort of grown out of the original cut. So, for you, if you do want to keep your uh, length, we could play around with some fringe. Uh, let's see. You could add some bangs in the front. And the bangs we could cut in lots of different lengths and different depths. Okay, this one has sort of a very full bang there. And if you are considering keeping the length of your hair, we could think about adding some layers. You can see here this picture, so it kind of gives a little bit of a feathering look. We could also consider giving you a little bit of a change to the color. And, um, also play around with the idea of adding some curls or waves. It's nice to see all of the different styles that the long lengths can let you Play around with. Okay. All right, and then this gets into different styles for curly hair. Okay. Very beautiful. So for the curled looks, it kind of goes over all the different lengths. 
tops of hair in curly styles. So the curls are all different sizes, you see. Okay, this one has more of a curl just at the bottom and sort of straighter at the top. Seems very, very healthy. It's 
very silky, smooth, very easy to brush through. It's also very shiny. This one, this one is great for wet hands. Your hair is dry at the moment, but it still works nicely. Okay. 